month. So please welcome this week's special guest, Graham. <laughs> So, Bobby, what is Graham to you? So, this is Graham. Um, when I won his competition, my prize was a trolley dash through a pound shop. <laughs> Joe Brand, how do you know Graham? Uh, this is my old uh, neighbour, Graham, and when my landlady was trying to sell my flat, um, I asked Graham to uh, bang a bongo to put off any potential buyers. Oh. <laughs> and finally, Lee, what is your relationship with Graham? This is Graham. All his bees flew away when I was looking after him. <laughs> <laughs> so there we have it. Bobby's pound shop pal, Joe's noisy neighbour, or Lee's beeless buddy. David's team, where do you begin? Okay, well, we'll start with Bobby. Um, so what was the what was Graham's competition? So he was organising a competition to open a new pound store. Actually, 99p store. So, sorry, he was organising a competition to open one? So, it's a competition where somebody gets to open the store. So, the prize, the prize. was opening the new pound store. Yes. What was the competition? Oh, so you had to submit um, some sort of, like, artistic, creative entry that you could display or show off at the opening. The winner of the artistic competition <laughs> would, win, would win the prize of opening the new pound store. And get to do a trolley dash as well. How long did you get to dash? 99 seconds. It would make sense, wouldn't it? 99p... Makes sense. Oh, sort of. I suppose, or 99 years, <laughs> or... Yeah, fine. Bobby, tell us about your artistic entry. So... Oh, the old Rob Bryden chat-up line. <laughs> <laughs> Um, so I <laughs> wrote like a little like poem or a jig. A what? Sorry? A jig? Like, what? A jig, like little like a few words to open it. That's not a jig. A is poem. It? A like, jig is a dance. But like, but you could, if you had a, in theory, a, a good verse, you could jig to it as well. Now, do you recall any of this poem? So I definitely remember one line was um, at ninety nine p store bargains galore. At ninety nine p. And then store, everyone's like jigging. Bargains galore. And everyone's like <laughs> jigging away at the opening. So that was your artistic entry. What I, was it up against? I, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> what did, let me rephrase that. What did that beat? <laughs> but I think it's far more likely that Bobby's entry was actually the only one. <laughs> <laughs> what sort of size crowd was it? How many people had this attracted? 60, 70, 80? A lot. Why do you say about 70? Because yeah. it's somewhere in the region of 60 to 80. Well, that's about 70. So, <laughs> it could be, but it might be, it might be the lower end. What, what, it might be 60. So 60 plus people have gone. Maximum apparently, yeah. apparently, they're opening a new pound store <laughs> in the area. So that would be a great thing to do. Should we go to that? It, it was I don't want to go. Haven't you heard? Someone's reading a poem. <laughs> Get my coat. Yes, it's quite. <laughs> it's, it's not just a poem, it's one of those poems you're encouraged to jig around yeah. to. <laughs> <laughs> we'll never get in, it'll be packed. Oh, I don't know, 60 to 80, probably 59 plus, yeah. but maybe towards the lower end. <laughs> Let's go, darling. All right, who next? Joe. Graham is your former neighbour, is that right? Yes, Graham is uh, my former neighbour, and uh, my landlady wanted to sell the flat I was living in, so I enlisted the help of Graham to just make it sound, obviously, like there was loads of noise all the time to put off the buyers. So he would just listen out for when people were being shown round? No, well, and... she would tell me when people were coming to look round. Yeah. Joe, didn't she think it was maybe a bad idea to let you be the person who shows people round? Because like, you're not incentivized to try and make it look nice because you're going to lose where you're, you're home if it's sold. It happens more than you think. In supermarkets, there are people at the supermarket showing you how to use the automatic checkout. Yeah. And you know, well, that's that. a turkey voting for Christmas, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> did he have the bongos, or he, did you have had, to supply them? He had decorative bongos, which did I... He? <laughs> <laughs> which I never really heard him play very much. Is it's, that like a male you... version of the jazzled? <laughs> <laughs> I'd like the decorative bongos, please. <laughs> So, did any of the prospective buyers be like, oh, that's a nightmare? Does that go on often? Like, did they fall for it? It works a treat. Not one single one said, oh, I really love a bit of bongos <laughs> above my head of an evening. <laughs> and why was Graham so keen to help? 
Because we knew each other, I'd have, I'd have played the bongos for him if he'd asked me, so... <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, a bottle of wine's enough. <laughs> Uh, Lee, uh, yeah. remind us of your story. Well, I, I, Graham was uh, his beekeeper, and uh, I was looking after his bees, and they all managed to escape. Why were you <laughs> looking after his bees? Because Graham is yeah. a beekeeper, and you are a comedian. Yes, <laughs> but he kept wearing the wrong shirts, and they kept landing on him. <laughs> <laughs> so he has bees in his garden. Yes. And he's, what, going on holiday? He's going away for five days. And it's obviously filling in that number of pet passports for a few tens of thousands of bees. <laughs> it was... It's a nightmare. How do you look after bees? Because well, you don't feed them, do you? They, they actually have, like, a sugary, watery thing that you feed them. Uh, do you uh, feed them individually? Yes, you do. I breastfed them individually. <laughs> I'm imagining yeah. you've got the sugary water. What is the receptacle? There's a little tray at the bottom of the hive. You pull okay. it out, you pour it in, you close. Do you have to put on a beekeeping costume to do that? Not to do that, okay. but there was more to it than that. This is why the bees escaped. Right. <laughs> it's when you try and get their honey that is the problem, and Tell, that's so what the problem was. Why right. did you try and get their honey? Because I thought... I, I just... He's I'd, only away for five days. Yes, but I'd, I'd, I'd <laughs> actually seen uh, beekeepers on the television. And I saw the process of, of the smoking thing and the costume. And you and... thought you'd give it a go. Well, it was there. <laughs> Unauthorised. It was there. So was the beekeeping costume not locked in his house? No, no. It was in a shed. It's just a shed. <laughs> and it was just hanging there. Everything was so neat. I thought, that's tempting. <laughs> and then I saw the little thing. The smoke thing. It no, can't... no, the woman that was asthmatic. <laughs> <laughs> And uh, I helped her, she left. And then there was yeah. the smoking thing. It's like a little... Goes, it's like a yeah. watering can, but it produces smoke if you light it. Oh, right, so and that kind of calms them down? That it? sort of it makes them a bit, you and know... And you figured, out, you figured mm. out how to use that watering can that emits smoke? Well, I thought I had. That's yeah. the problem. There were these little things inside. You know those little um, things you like that smell nice and they're sometimes pyramid-shaped? Like a little cone. <laughs> a cone, yeah, a little cone. A cone. Yes. So you like the little cone. <laughs> It gives off a smell. I, and there was a box of matches just there as well. Oh, I mean, no. it's, it was unbelievably convenient. <laughs> <laughs> and it, it was almost like a sketch. There was, there, was a, <laughs> there was a big sign saying, why not give it a go? Yeah. <laughs> so you put the outfit on. Yeah. It's now... The thing is smoking. What did you do? I tried to remember the TV documentary I saw, um, which was to take uh, the lid off oh, the roof. Oh, Lord. Mm? Quite yeah. scary. I'm a brave man. Rob, I'm a brave man. Or, or an idiot. I mean, we'll never know. <laughs> There's a third option. I could be a liar. <laughs> so I, I decided to take the, the lid off. Whoa, yeah. whoa, so you took the lid off before smoking them? <laughs> no, you take the lid off, then, then you smoke in a downward position. <laughs> it goes <laughs> down. <laughs> smoke in a after, downward after position? After you get so you down <laughs> because it rises. No, you don't, because too much smoke can actually kill them. Because if you put it in the bottom and it goes up, it could kill them. It's like the old phrase, never smoke a beehive from the bottom. <laughs> So you start smoking from above. I went, and so when you push it, it forces the smoke down before it floats back up. But there was a, it was like a dragon. Yeah. Right, <laughs> well, came out like that. Right. And the bees sort of like that, looked up like that. <laughs> and then a few of them started to come out. But then the big thing happened. Mm. The queen turned up. How did you identify the queen? She had a crown. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, smoke, smoke, smoke. Bees all fly away. Right. Including the queen. Gone. Every one of them. Every single bee. Well, there was one in there that sort of went, where'd everyone go? <laughs> <laughs> At this point, I'm panicking. Go to a pet shop. I need 45,000 bees. <laughs> and he said, we don't sell bees. And you said, but you had one in your window yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe they'd gone to an Airbnb. Now, all right, <laughs> we, we, need, uh, we need an answer. So, David's team is Graham, Bobby's pound shop pal, Joe's noisy neighbour or Lee's beeless buddy? I don't think it's the pound shop thing because that sounded like such a peculiar little sequence of events. I think it's probably the bongos. You think it's probably the bongos? What do you... uh, yeah, I like the bongo story. Although I think he could be a beekeeper. So what are you going to settle on then? I'm, I mean, I'm feeling the bongo story. It's unlikely, but it's got to be the most likely. You're going for the bongos. Mm. Graham. Would you please reveal your true identity? I'm Graham, and I let Bobby go on a trolley down. <laughs> wow. Yes. And, and we, have, um, we have a picture from the local newspaper to, to, <laughs> to prove this. Look, there he is. 
Yes, Graham is Bobby's pound shop, pal. Thank you very much, Graham.